So I came too late. You can see here. There was a um, there was a Templars festival here. Uh, I just missed it. Templar dudes. In uh, it was 14, 15, 16 September in Villers. In uh, yeah. So I film it now because uh, they might take it away tomorrow. So oh, this is in a very old monastery and uh, there, would, there would be a nice way to get in here. You can see it's a very old wall here. It's quite big. I slept up the mountain there. It's a fantastic place, you know, next to the, they get water, you know. Just running through the bathroom. Smart guys in those days. Now I go up the hill here. So why do you need this large wall, you know, around the monastery if they're so-called peaceful monks? Right? And they said uh, Bernard de Clairvaux built it. He didn't. It's the same as the Hare Krishna. They say the, the Iskon built it. No. The slaves build it. You know, it's all the same under the uh, under the cover of a religion, Hare Krishna, Christianity, Islam, or whatever in their mosques. You know they they have military orders in within. Will lie to us. You know they're pharaohs. So let's have a look if we can have a peep in here. Yeah, there's a hole in the wall. Look, there it is. See, this is a... oh, the end of the wall. The end of the row too. So this is the name of the place. It's a little bit southeast of Brussels, next to Louvain. Uh, Abbey, it means a monastery, an abbey. So there it is. Uh, here they had the festival here. It's also on the other side, you see there's a bridge. And, uh, they're probably going to let me pay, you know. But that's it's principle, you know. Don't make them rich uh, as they already are. So I'll watch the images later on. Oh, yeah, there it is. They say it's absolutely huge. It's from the time of the Templars. I think it's like the 11th century or something. And uh, I'm interested in it because it was a Cistercian monastery. And the Cistercians, uh, they were together with the hospitalists. They were armed monks. And this thing here was built by um, Bernard de Clairvaux. And I wonder, how is it possible that this guy, I showed you another monastery of his in uh, where the big Templar lakes are in the middle of France where the Templars started. How is it possible that this guy built so many monasteries all over the place? And this is huge. It's, it's, it's far away from, from the middle of France. This is in Belgium here. So they had this festival here and I just missed it. It was just, I'm just the day after. Templars, it's all about the Templars because they were here. And they had this great party here and I just missed it. I was just a day too late. You see how it's huge here, really absolutely huge. It's fantastic, it's huge. Oh, I missed the party. I love beer. Well, they just gave French, you gave me a beer here. <laughs> I'm gonna drink it there in the sun. And, uh, 
Yeah, so the Cistercians, they were together with the Hospitalis. And uh, it's all geostrategical. How come this guy, Bernard de Clairvaux, he was born in a castle. Of course he was, all dukes, you know. How come he could build so many monasteries so far away? This is at least, well, I'd say like, uh, at least 800 kilometers away from the other one. It's, it's, it's a big setup. It's like McDonald's, you know, like a, a monastery all over. One here, one there, you know, to expand the idea. And then finally go to Switzerland. Yeah, this tube is from 1283. And it's, um, uh, it's a crusader li lying here. So that was just before the end of the Crusades. It says there, you know, he's a, a chevalier croisé. I don't know. Uh, of course, you know, it could also be crusader, but of course, any, anyway, he's a nobleman. Of course, it's always a nobility. The lion is there at his feet. That means that's where they come from. The roots where he's standing on is from Egypt. And I have no doubt that's a crusader. Yeah. Huge is really big. Uh, I'm going into the church here. Wow, it's really impressive. Look what the slaves made for them, eh? must have been a one hell of a party here whoa I don't like parties actually or you know huge masses but this, this, this would have been fantastic I just missed it by a day I didn't know it wow a hell of a party very impressive Templars uh, I hope this is not what I well, I think it could be. I mean, this is Belgium, you know. It's uh, Dutroux. It's, um... So if you take into consideration, you know, the first crusade started in Belgium, in Bouillon. And, uh, you know, always the aristocracy, you know, always these sort of places. And um, the first crusade started in Bouillon in 1095. So... Maybe somebody knows him, right? So, you know, this is not very far away. And it's also Belgium, and it also has to do with the Crusades. You saw the Crusader, the Templar, and this is Templar's Monastery. It's huge, you know, you've got all these bunkers here as well, you know? Yeah. All these bunkers. Octagon. This one is octagonal. The Templars were here. The Grail. Our blood is here. You can see here all the... I don't know what it is, man. What is it? Like a fire? First I thought it was a holy dude, like. They say, they call him now Bernard de Clairvaux. They call him Saint Bernard. Well, he was not a saint. He was a crusader, for God's sake. It all goes together. You know, you see this. This is all Pharaoh. Religion, the aristocracy, it all goes together. It's all one, one thing. Nobody else can organize all this. Pharaoh. Well, you know the drill. Oh, look here it says. Just like the, um, the monastery of uh, de Clairvaux, they made a prison out of it. They did the same thing here in the 19th century. There was a prison. Oh, I mean, this is power. It has nothing to do with nice religion, God or Jesus or whatever, you know. It's Pharaoh. And they make, a, you know, wars, geostrategical wars, crusades, uh, prison. Hey, we're a lie. Everything is a lie. And then they call themselves a saint. Get out of here. Saint, get out of here. 
There are no saints. There are masters, the pharaohs. Nobody else builds all this. I mean, how can you build a prison out of a so-called holy place? Oh, get out of here. Oh. Look at the dungeons of the prison. Oh, these are these things I saw underneath. They're all prison cells. Look at that. And then they call them holy. Yeah, oh, come on. Everything is a lie. They're all prison cells. First they use them for the monks to believe in something holy. Not to work for them. For nothing. Like you work for Jesus and you work for God, you know. It's like the higher Krishna stuff. It's all the same. Islamic State, it's all the same. Well, they were probably better off than I was without any air. At least they got a bloody hole in it. Let me out. Let me out. Oh, I've been here for three years. Well, that's interesting. Coat of arms. <laughs> Look, we are the lambs, the stupid ones. They're the lions, right? And on top of it is the holy guy. Call him a saint. Get out of here. There. Aristocracy is religion. That's really, you, know, you see Obama, you know, bowing up, bowing all the way down for the bloody Pope. This is what I call interesting. A Templar's V and a lion in the middle. Look, it's a hungry lion. You can see his ribs. Three ribs, always three. Even the lion's ribs are three. Shit, man. These guys are perfectionists. Ah, Templars. There you go. There you go. That's why they demolished it. Too many proofs on it. I don't know what it says here. I don't know, the rest of it, it's here, in the cupboard. They put all the stones in here. Look at that, that's all the proofs that are in here. Yeah, some more coat of arms. Oh, what's a lion doing in a monastery? Come on. And the sheep. The sheeple. <laughs> and another room. It's so big, eh? There must have been thousands of Templars here. And then they all went together on the crusade from Bouillon, which is right next to here. Thousands of them. You still see some old doors of the prisons. Oh man. Oh look, the dragons are here, the reptilians. What's wrong with these people, eh? So the church here, they started building it in 1197. There you go. I said this part is from the 13th century. It's so big. Templar place. <laughs>